Well, many of us may be getting ready to visit family or to host big Thanksgiving meals, but there are dozens of people who won't get to spend the holidays in their own home. Rain and flooding ruined homes in northwest Charlotte way back in June. Channel 9's Allison Lottis went back to that neighborhood today and learned many are still struggling to make repairs months later. This home was built in 1977 and it's never flooded until this past June. Now the homeowners tell me they're not sure when or if they'll be able to call it home again. A horrible, horrible nightmare that you can't wake up from. For nearly six months, Billy Hardis said. Miller hasn't been able to live inside her home on Beagle Club Road. This was our master bedroom and our master bath and the master closet. So it's Gong, gong. More than three feet of water filled the house in June when Duke Energy, which controls water levels along the Catawba River, opened the floodgates to a massive dam during a bad storm, releasing water downstream. Contractors told Hardis Miller repairing and raising her home could cost more than the city estimates it is worth. What will the holidays be like for your family not being able to be here? Uh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. This was a super nice studio. Sabrina Hilario like showed me how her first floor you know, office was destroyed. Seven feet, so it was higher than that, the door frame. Her family has been able to stay, but Hilario says the holidays are bittersweet. The neighborhood they've loved for years has changed forever. I lost all my neighbors. All the houses here, all the houses from my right are gone. So, you know, the neighbor that can help me any with anything, it's all gone. A lot of neighbors tell me they still blame Duke Energy for the devastating flooding. Federal investigators found they followed procedures but have asked Duke to improve communications. Duke tells me they hope to have that plan finalized by next April. Back to you.